Hi everyone, just doing a quick box opening of some Smart Doll goodies that I got. I actually, they came a few days ago, I just haven't had the chance to open them. So I'm going to do that now because it's my weekend and that's when I <laughs> seem to have time to do stuff lately. So, I know everybody's super excited for those recent chaos bundles or boxes that are coming. This is not that. Um, this is just an order I placed. I don't know, like a week or so ago. Uh, so, just a standard smart doll box, no doll. Just a couple of um, accessories in there. So, um, we have the, um, oh, is it called the cyborg bust? I don't know, this is not the, the little stand, this is actually the bust. So I'm gonna switch it out for her to see how it looks. And I got two of them. Um, so I have an idea for something that I want to do. They're the same size. They don't have like alternate bigger robot boobies <laughs> yet. I'm sure it could come down the line. Um, and I got those um, head caps, the magnetic head caps, which I'm also going to have her try on. Um, I got four of those. Just because I think they're really cool, and I love putting like magnetized ears and such on my doll's head, so we're gonna try these on and see if they work. Of course, I don't actually have well, I have magnets, but I don't know if they're the right size. So the second part of my video is gonna be um, well, it's not gonna be the second part of this video, but today I'm gonna try and go and find the appropriate size magnets for these um, at my local hobby stores. So. That's it that's in there except for this shirt, which is again nothing new or special. I mean it is special, it's special to me. But it's the um Mirai Store Tokyo t shirt. Um I kind of am like really liking the t shirts that have like the cartoon like chibi characters on them. And I have a, a couple. I don't have them all by any means, but um, I, I really wanted this one for a little while, so I just added it into my order. Um, so, let me just take one of these out and kind of see what it looks like. So here it is. It has Smart Doll Made in Japan on the back, if you can see that. And then around the top it has three or six total magnet holes, so three on each side. Um, it's very soft and squishy, like the orange head caps. Well, really, like the head caps in general. Um, and I do have some magnets here, but I don't think they're the right size. So I have these, like, there's three of them, actually. Um, and I can't remember, I want to say on Danny's post about these, the, the appropriate size would be five by two or five by three. And whatever I have here is definitely too big. I can't fit it in there. Um, that's okay though. I wanted to see if I could make it work on video, but maybe I will do a little follow-up video if I find some magnets today. Otherwise, I'll just take to Amazon and I'm sure I can find something there. Um, so, I'm just going to pop her wig up. By the way, this wig, somebody was asking for this, a wig like this style, so that's why I have it on her. I'm gonna try to find the post. I'm pretty sure it was a smart doll inquiry. Um, somebody was looking for it and it's not my favorite wig, so if you're watching this video and that post was yours, please let me know if you like it. There it is, fits pretty decently. It's cute, it's just not for me. Um, so, anyway, cute wig. <laughs> it's definitely a, um, well, I'm pretty sure it's a Volks wig, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so here's this lovely head. This is, oh gosh, I don't remember. I got this head as a chaos once upon a time. Um, I don't even remember her sculpt name, but she has the orange head cap on, and I'm just going to switch it out for the black one just as a quick comparison. Look, it's like Halloween. Um, they're very similar in size. I don't know. The black one looks just the tiniest bit smaller, um, but... Overall, they're pretty much exactly the same. Just different shape on the top. Um, 
the one thing though about this, I mean, the orange ones, you know, they didn't really necessarily ever have a front and a back. Although I suppose probably most people think the back is where the notch is from the um, the flashing or whatever. And that's kind of how it is on these black ones too. The flashing is at the back. But now with the smart doll like name on the back, I feel like that's where it belongs. And that's definitely the shape that it fits. So there it is. It fits very nicely. Overall, very easy. It just snapped right in like the orange ones. So that's no problem. I'm going to see how easy it is to change out one of these busts. So here is um, the Cyborg Battle, I, I don't know, is it called a battle bust? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, here's the details on it if you guys want to see it up close. You can see the arm sockets are pretty much the same. Um, oops. And then, you know, there's that port there that uh, Danny mentioned, you know, you could carve it out to have it have a different look. And then there's like, uh, like wear and tear on the back. Um, and just different little holes and stuff. These are not actual sol uh, like open holes, these three little things at the back. But you could carve them, I guess, and then, you know, have whatever you want coming out of there. Same with the like key thing there at the back. You know, just thinking about it, um, if you could get, um, well, I don't, I don't think Danny Chu watches my videos. I'm, <laughs> I just am a smart doll lover. I'm not like a mega fan or anything like that. But this could be like this with space for magnets because you know we all love little angels and little dragons and anything with wings. Um, magnet holes right there, Mr. Chu. Oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. <sighs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, let's see how easy it is to um, switch this out. I'm sure it's just the same as really switching a standard bust to any other bust. Um, and I chose this poor girl because she's been waiting forever to get cleaned up from a photo shoot. I put her in an outfit that unfortunately stained her body over a few places. So this bust I have no problem changing out because it is actually mostly the bust that got the brunt of the staining if you see there. You know, you probably, yeah, you can see it a little bit on the sides there. Anyway, um, I need to clean that. So let's see how easy it is to change it. So here's my poor half body. I'm just going to slip the cyborg bust right on. And sure enough, I mean, it just goes right on just like any old bust. I mean, not any old bust. This is a cool cyberpunk bust or whatever. Even her poor arms really need a little bit of um, cleaning. But for now, we're just going to um, see how this works. Sorry, I need to like change move this all the way. There we go. If I can get my arms back in there. Come on now. There we go. All right. Oh, I got those little magnets rolling around. There we go. So there's one arm in. It actually looks kind of like a tank top and shorts with the black shorts that I have her wearing here. All right, so there it is. Easy peasy to change out. The um, Just because of the way the arm sockets are, it definitely makes the shoulders look more prominent. But it's not a bad look. It actually looks pretty cool. Like it looks like cuffs there at the shoulder, if you can see kind of how it is. Um, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. The back is the same, you know, it has, it comes just above or just right at the line where it's, um, covering the rib cage area. If you were to bend it forward, you might get a little gapping, but that's pretty much how it is with all the busts as far as I can tell. Um, I don't have a standard bust here to compare. But I think just because of the um, style of, like, there's, like, 
you know, ledges and ridges on here. I feel like it looks just the tiniest bit bigger than a standard bust. I don't know. Maybe. Just the tiniest bit. Anyway, let's pop her head back on. Since she has on the um, head and everything. Look at this. This girl looks kind of, I don't know, kind of cool. Now I need to put like little black hands on her from the um, um, hand, the alternate hand pack with the, the black, what are, I don't know, battle gloves, something like that. Um, maybe a prosthetic piece would look cool. Um, you could almost get a, an android looking girl just from the parts that um, Smart Doll has released so far. I don't know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's pretty neat. I think it looks nice. I think it looks kind of cool. And um, the neck, because of the way that it's carved to look like a cyborg, it almost, it looks like thinner and um, maybe the touch is a bit longer. Is that possible? I don't know. It can't be that much longer because the neck's down, but the head connects on only goes so far, but um, it just looks, it looks kind of cool. I dig it. I like it a lot. So there she is with a bust on um, my dog is like over there trying to ask me to come in. I do wish that I could have seen what um, like some ears look, look like, but here's the placing, right? So I can see the magnets. The magnet holes would be like here, here, or, oops, my ears are trying to connect together. These are mini feet ears, so they're opposite, which is just weird to me. I don't like that. I've tried to get the one out to flip them, but it's basically impossible. I think they super glue their things in. Anyway, so just for the heck of it, let's put a wig on and just see if it makes any difference with the, um, I mean, you can't even tell that that um, head cap is black. I mean, if you wanted to leave it and show it, I think it actually looks kind of cool as like making her look like a robot girl. Um, sorry, the sun just started shining really bright right there from my window. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think this works as um, a, like almost looking like a piece of clothing um, or, you know, you could cover it and she could still be a cyborg. I don't know. I, do you want me to try on the shirt over the top of it just to see? I guess I'll have to pop her head back off. I mean, I don't technically have to, but I'm going to do it. Let me move this poor damaged bust aside. We'll pop her head off again really quick. And try on the shirt over the cyborg bust just to see how it lays or how it shows through on clothing um, being a darker... Um, piece of, you know, vinyl. Should I have taken the hands off? Probably. Like, dismantling her and putting her back together. <laughs> Alright. So, nice and easy over the wrist joints. Swing the arms down. Correct the shirt so that it lays flat. So, even, like, being <laughs> different, um, like, you know, with, like, the black color coming out of the shirt neckline, I actually don't think it looks that bad. This could actually, um, work as, like, in the winter, like, a turtleneck under a t-shirt, or even under, like, um, a long sleeve shirt, so you get that, like, layered look. I am not a good layer, layer -er, is that a word? <laughs> um, but it kind of looks kind of cool, actually. Let's see. All right. So, I don't know, that looks kind of neat. It could look like a turtleneck, sort of. And then, um, you know, if I can figure out the magnets, I could give her any old, headpiece to wear and see how that would look on her. I don't know. So that was fun. It was a short, quick little video. Um, I'm definitely excited to find the magnets for these. 
I will update this video if I do find the appropriate size at my lo local hobby stores. I would really just have um, like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but I might also go to like a hardware store if I'm really desperate or bored. <laughs> I suppose Amazon is really the only answer, the end answer. Um, the bust is really cool. The head cap is pretty fun. And like I said, I'll update my video description if I have, if I find some in my local stores that um, fit appropriately. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you're all having a great weekend. Bye!